Hampshire Memorial Hospital is proud to announce the newest in mammography testing equipment. The Hologic Selenia Digital Mammography System is the latest in breast screening equipment. This state-of-the-art technology is on site at Hampshire Memorial Hospital. Women getting that all-important annual mammogram can have it done here locally in Romney, West Virginia. This high-resolution system delivers incredibly sharp images in a matter of seconds. So why travel many miles away? Come to Hampshire Memorial for your annual mammogram, where the best in service and technology is here for you. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. I'm here at the Cape and Valley Market in Cape and Bridge, West Virginia. And I am with today... Adam Monroe. Adam, where do you live at? Cape and Bridge. Adam, WVU is in the final four of the NCAA. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's awesome. You know, we're uh, witnessing history here. It hadn't happened since, what, 58, 59? Uh, and what do you think is the key to the, their success? Their mindset, and uh, there's really, they're rebounding. They're, uh, I know they're not going to outshoot anybody. They're just a real strong-minded team. Huggy's done a nice job with them. Oh, he's done awesome. I mean, he's come in there, it was his third year, and here we are in the final four, so... I mean, sky's the limit right now. And uh, you say your family, whole family watches. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, actually me and my father grew up, I grew up listening to them on the radio because they were never on TV back then. Of course, they weren't as good. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's probably been a good 20 years we've been listening to it on the radio. And now to actually witness this and get to see a lot of their games on TV. And we get together all the time. It's just me and him. And we have a great time. Ashley. Ashley, where are you from? Peyton Bridge. <laughs> Cape and Bridge, right here. This is your hometown. Yep. Now, are you following at all the fact that WVU is in the Final Four in the NCAA? Oh, just a little bit, because I go to Potomac State, so you hear about it all the time. So, yeah. Okay, so you're going to Potomac State. Um, now, do you follow WVU? Yes, I do. Well, what we do watch you? the games. So. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. What do you think about them uh, making it this far? Well, How does it make you feel? I mean, it's pretty great that they just came all that way, and they're just kicking butt the whole way. So. Paul Rucker. Paul, how you been doing? Great, great. We got, hey, we got the NCAAs or this weekend. The West Virginia Mountaineers have made it to the Final mm. Four. <laughs> how does it make you feel to see them oh, uh, come this far? Yeah, oh man, it makes me uh, just feel great. It's great to be a Mountaineer this year. We got just a just a wonderful time this year to be here in the state of West Virginia. So you're a big fan, and you've been following it uh, through oh, the year. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, what do you think about their chances against Duke this Saturday? I think that uh, you know, if Duke wasn't in this Final Four, West Virginia would walk all the way to the top. So I'm glad Duke has made it, but they are going to have to be put down this week. I'm tired of Duke. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> I said, I'm glad Duke's there, so we, you know, it'll make us look even better when we beat them. So. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angie. I'm from Highview, West Virginia. I'm at work today at Cape and Bridge Family Dentistry. Um, we want to root the West Virginia Mountaineers on against Duke. Go, go West Virginia. Let's go Mountaineers. We're the number one team. Let's go all the way. I'm here at the Cape and Valley Market and I'm with Jason. Jason, where are you from? Uh, Augusta, West Virginia. Augusta, okay. Uh, have you been following the basketball? Have you been following the WVU and their successful year that they're having? A little bit, yeah. What do you think about them finally making it into the Final Four? I think it's pretty awesome. Well, I'm here at the Cape and Bridge Public Library. West Virginia is going to be playing in the Final Four. And I have with me today... Lindsay Brill. Lindsay, where are you from? Yellow Spring. And you're from Yellow Spring. Now, I understand that you're a pretty big WVU fan. Is that right? Yes, I am. So are you pretty excited about seeing them get this far? I'm very, very excited. I'm, I'm really looking forward to them playing. It's been, you know, almost 50 years. It's been a long time. So I'm ready to see them go to the Final Four and go all the way. And it's kind of like in your family, right? You've been a long time Mountaineer fan. Um, are other people in your family, and you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, uh, we've always been Mountaineer fans since I was little. Uh, my uncle went to WVU. My cousin goes to WVU. It's just, it's in our blood. I can't imagine cheering for any other school. Let's go, Mountaineers! <laughs> uh, this is Ronald. I'm from Augusta, West Virginia. 
I wish the Mountaineers good luck this weekend. I hope you beat Duke. Coach Hogan's giving them your best shot. Hi, I'm Timothy Bourne, and I work at Straight Cat and Romney, and I just want to say go WVU this weekend. Hi, I'm Denise from the Straight Cat and Romney. I just want to say let's go Mountaineers and let's beat Duke. I'm Justin, this is the 6th, 7th, and 8th Romney Pioneers. Mountaineers, good luck. Let's go!